Hello, fellow Sublime Text fanatics. Oh, that nerd here, back with another Sublime Text tutorial video, and the topic of today's video is the sidebar. Now, we have covered the sidebar in a couple of recent videos on the channel, but over all the time that I've been using Sublime Text, I've seen a lot of people ask questions about the sidebar, and they tend to fall into the same general categories of questions. So I thought, why not ground up all of those commonly asked questions and throw them all into one rapid-fire question and answer video? So here we go. Here's the top some number of questions, I haven't actually tallied the whole list yet, about the Sublime Text sidebar. The sidebar in Sublime Text is a visual representation of the files and folders that we have open in any particular window, whether it's an ad hoc window or a window that we're using a project or workspace inside of. Using key bindings, we can easily display the sidebar when we need it and hide it away when we no longer require its presence. And we can also get at that by using the view sidebar menu items as seen here. The sidebar will show you the list of all the folders that you have opened inside of this particular window. And if you want to, it will also show you all the files that you have open as well as an alternate representation to the tabbed system that would normally appear in the tab bars of your window. The contents of the sidebar is controlled by the folders that you open and also by specific preferences you can set in your preferences and in your project specific preferences as well if you happen to be using projects. And it's the source of the file catalog used by the go to anything mechanism to navigate and browse around the files that you have open in the window. And also the symbol index which is is used to navigate between parts of your code as well. If you're unfamiliar with projects and workspaces or those settings I mentioned about controlling what appears in the sidebar or go to anything or the index, there are videos on the channel that cover that and I've linked them down below. Well, let's go ahead and dive into the questions that people most often have about the Sublime Text sidebar. Is the sidebar a file browser? Well, yes and no. It depends on what you consider to be a file browser. It can only show us folders that we've opened inside of the sidebar, and we can't take file operations like moving files around via drag and drop. It's just a representation of the folders we have open. You might be tempted to do something like add your C drive to the sidebar to be able to access all of the files on your hard drive, but that's not a good idea because Sublime scans all of the files for all in all of the folders that you have opened in the sidebar in order to make them available to you via go to anything. So if you add a very large folder to the sidebar, you could hang Sublime or use all of the available memory in your system as Sublime tries to find every file that exists everywhere. I don't like having the sidebar on the left-hand side of the window. Can I move it to some other side? No, I'm afraid not. The sidebar is hard-coded to only appear on the left-hand side of the window. Does the sidebar support drag and drop? Sort of, but it depends on what you mean by supporting drag and drop. You can totally grab folders and drag them into the sidebar if you'd like to have them open, and you can drag and drop top level folders to swap the order that they appear inside of the sidebar. However, you're not allowed to rearrange files or folders by use of drag operations. That won't work. I don't want to use the mouse to interact with the sidebar. Can I do it with the keyboard? Absolutely. If you use Control-0, the keyboard focus will jump to the sidebar, and then you can use the arrow keys to move up and down through the contents of the sidebar. Use the right arrow key to unfold a folder, and the left arrow key to fold a folder up. If you're inside of a content of a folder and you use the left arrow, you'll jump up to the folder where another left will allow you to close it, allowing you to navigate around quickly and easily. And as we can see here, as you focus a file, it will be given a preview in the right-hand pane of the window, and then you can jump back there and start working. I work with Java and the sidebar is filled with folders that don't have any content in them except other subdirectories. Is it possible to fold those all up into one folder? No, unfortunately not. The sidebar is a faithful representation of the files as they exist on disk. The only way you can hide files and folders is by hiding them from the sidebar specifically. So if you were to try to do that with the Java program, then your classes would disappear. I'm having problems making the sidebar appear. The menu items under the view sidebar entry in the menu have the entries required to show or hide the sidebar depending on whether you want to see it or not. The main text of the menu item changes depending on whether the sidebar is currently visible or not, and the key binding for doing that is always visible in this menu as well. Now you may find, such as now, that 
Sublime thinks that the sidebar should be visible, but in fact it is not. And the reason for that is that Sublime issues a visual clutter on the screen, and so it won't display the sidebar if it thinks that there isn't any content for it to actually display. Otherwise, it's just taking up space. In this particular situation, you would need to do something like open a folder or a project that has folders open inside of it. Or if you're not working with folders, then you can go up to the View menu and choose the Show Open Files entry, and now the sidebar will appear appear and show you the entries for newly created files and files that you have open. The sidebar seems a little too narrow. I can't see all of my content. How do I fix that? Using your mouse, you can click and drag to size the sidebar to whatever size you need it to be. As a pro tip, if you double click on the transition when you have the fold arrow, the sidebar will widen out to be exactly as wide as it needs to be for whatever is currently being displayed. I'm confused. It looks like my files are commented out and inactive. Is Sublime doing something to stop my project from working? No, what you're seeing here is actually an icon that's specific to source code files. Sublime is very open-ended in regards to the languages that it supports, and so it has a generic icon to represent source code files that it doesn't otherwise know about. And since icons can only be a maximum of 16 by 16 pixels, and that's not a lot of room in order to get something visible in there, the authors of Sublime decided that something like the start of a comment is something that would let you know that this is source code. But that has no bearing whatsoever on Sublime or any of the underlying tools, your files will still work just fine. Is there a way to have icons for files next to the list of open files in the sidebar? Not at the current time, no. The list of open files in the sidebar is just a vertical representation of the tab bar that would otherwise appear in the other parts of the window. And tabs in Sublime don't support icons at the present time, and so the list of open files doesn't either. The sidebar is cool, but I don't really want to display files in there. Can I display things like symbols and classes from the projects I'm working on instead? Unfortunately, no, the sidebar can only display files and nothing else. However, there are packages available on package control that do something along these lines by creating a split view in the window and displaying their own list of files and symbols there. So that might be something you could look into. I find the indentation in the sidebar a little bit hard to follow. When I have files and folders at many levels, it's hard for me to tell where files are located inside of the file structure. You're not alone in that one. Other people have the same problem as well, but unfortunately at the current time, there's no way to change how that works. Uh, there is an open issue on the issue tracker for adding some sort of visual distinction to the folders and files that are in here to be able to make the indentation a little bit easier to read, but as of yet, the developers haven't addressed that. Some of the files and folders in my project have some colored icons to the right of them. What are those for? Those icons are an indication that the files and folders that you're working with are being tracked by a Git repository. Sublime has Git integration support that allows you to see at a glance the status of files, whether they're added, deleted, modified, staged, missing, and things of that nature. There's a video on the channel that tells you all about this and how to configure it if you don't want it, which is linked down in the description below this video. Some of the files and folders in the sidebar are being displayed as a darker color than everything else. What's up with that? That darker color is an indication that the files and folders in question are part of a Git repository, and more importantly, they're also listed in the Git ignore file in that repository, so Git is ignoring any and all changes to those files. Sublime references that for you by displaying those files in a bit of a darker, dimmer color, sort of like a disabled menu entry, so that you can tell the difference at a glance inside of the sidebar. If Sublime can display the folders and files that are ignored by Git in a darker color, is it possible to get the same sort of color indications for other Git statuses? The display of the sidebar is controlled by the theme that you're using, so if your theme doesn't already support something like this, it's easy to add something like that yourself by adding some additional theme rules. You can even change the colors that are used as well. Are you interested in seeing something like that? Leave a message down in the comment section below. Are the icons changeable? Do you mean the file icons or the Git indicator icons on the right? Either way, the answer to that question is yes, you can totally modify those, but it does require a theme modification. Now, if you're interested in different file icons, good news is there are packages on package control, such as file icons, that will do that for you. So all you have to do is install them and you're good to go. I'm using Sublime Text and Git, but I'm not seeing any colored icons. Do I need to do some sort of setup? 
Well, there is a setting that enables and disables the Git support, and you could check to see if you've turned that off. It is enabled by default, however. If that's not the case, then there are a few different reasons why this might be happening. You could be using a 32-bit version of Sublime Text. Git support in Sublime is only supported in 64-bit builds. You could be using a version of Sublime from before this in support was included, in which case upgrading to the latest version of Sublime will probably solve your problem. And these are theme-related items, so if you're using a third-party theme that doesn't show with Sublime and it hasn't been updated since this support was added, then you won't see these. So in that case, you might need to swap to a different theme, like the default or adaptive themes that stick with Sublime, or ask your theme developer if they will add support for this. One of the folders I have open in the sidebar has some sort of weird symbol on it. That icon is actually a link of chain, and it's an indication that this is a folder that is a symbolic link to a folder that Sublime has seen elsewhere inside of the sidebar. Now, when you open a folder in the sidebar, Sublime scans its entire contents in order to find what files are there so it can do things like index them and show them to you in the list of go-to-anything files for easy navigation. When it encounters a folder that it's seen previously, it doesn't go inside of such a folder and marks it as a link instead in order to make sure that it doesn't get itself into an infinite loop of of scanning around for the same files over and over again because that could cause it to exhaust all available memory. If you were to look in the Sublime Text console by using the key binding or the view show console menu item, you'll see this happening with entries similar to this. Now what you see is different depending on the operating system that you're on, but in general what this means is that Sublime sees a folder that it looks like it has seen before and so it doesn't go inside of it. This has been known to be tripped up by uh, certain remote file systems like SS HFS and things of that nature in certain cases, even for folders that aren't necessarily links. And unfortunately, there's nothing Sublime can do about that because those file systems aren't correctly reporting the state of the file information. The only things we can do in that case is access the files in some other way. There's a folder in the sidebar that I can't unfold, but I'm pretty sure it has some content in it. This can happen if you have a list of file exclude patterns that's telling Sublime not to display files of a certain type and that folder contains only files of types that are being excluded. In that case, you'd have to adjust your settings to not exclude those files. Or exclude the folder instead, because if you don't want to see the contents of it, maybe you don't want to see the folder either. The other way that you might see something like this is if your folder has the link icon on it. And uh, as we just mentioned, that means that this is a folder that Sublime has seen somewhere else. And as a result, it refuses to navigate inside of it. So what do we do in that case? If you were to right click on such a file, there's an item in the menu enabled, uh, named Reveal a Link Source. And choosing that causes Sublime to jump to the part of the sidebar where the source of this file actually is. And we can see that link happening there. If you don't see this menu, item and you do see an icon like that, then one of the packages you have installed has done something to mess with the sidebar menu item. And in that case, you might need to temporarily revert your copy of Sublime to a fresh state in order to determine how to do that. There's a link to a video that does that uh, down in the description below. And that's going to do it for our coverage of the most commonly asked questions about the Sublime Text sidebar. Did we answer all of your questions? Have you ever had a problem with the sidebar that wasn't outlined in this video? Let me know down in the comment section below. You might also want to use those button down below to thumb subscribe and share as you deem appropriate so you don't miss out on any of the great videos that are coming your way in Sublime Text tutorial land. And you might also want to check out the video series on Plugin 101 if you've ever wanted to create your own packages and plugins in Sublime Text and you didn't know how to do it. Until the next video, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.